Uh, many thanks for joining us again today. My name is Dakbo Arua Joy. We thought uh, today we should look at the intrigues happening at the Red Chamber at the Nigerian Senate. Uh, you may recall the num number three man, uh, that's the former number three man, Senator Ali Indume was removed and replaced by uh, Senator Hamad Lawan. And you may recall that Lawan uh, was the man that lost out to uh, Senator Sarakina, which is the, uh, who is the uh, Senate president. So we take a look at the intrigues. Uh, is there a realigning going on somewhere? And again, even the, the man that was removed, uh, Senator Ali Indume was saying, uh, uh, Mr. Deputy, uh, said it's uh, uh, President Ekwerimadu, uh, you might be the next person. Just watch your back. That's what we're doing today. Uh, we're looking at that. And to help us do the discussion, I have Uche Ono, a lawyer, public affairs analyst. Uh, Uche, Thank you. It's thank a pleasure you. to have me this morning. Yeah, it's been a while. Thank Good you. to see well, you happy well, here. Happy New Year. Malam uh, Muyosuri Jaji, a political affairs analyst. Good to see you also. Good morning, Dapo. Good morning, viewers at home. Happy New Year. Happy New Year. And uh, a nice one that uh, at least we have, uh, there were panics everywhere that uh, uh, there, there should be or there could be a few scarcity there because of the Pengasin strike. Do we thank God now that uh, at least the strike has been called off? So we should have a regular supply. Dako, it's there. not yet Uhuru. Oh. That is going by, uh, by a publication in the uh, Guardian today or this day talking about this array in the pricing of, uh, you know, PPMS. Hmm. So what we are saying now is that do it does it mean that the government intentionally played this thing down for us to have, you know, a kill-free Christmas? Hmm. And now in January, the problem is now rearing its ugly head. And what will bring about the problem, we are talking about uh, some people owing banks, they are not paying. Those are independent marketers running into billions of naira and but me as a person and somebody that you know campaign vigorously for the emergence of this present federal government i'm embarrassed because we will have thought that the government will have hit the ground running so you and think you, say, you think there'll be scarcity that's always done. there shouldn't have been this scarcity in the first place we should not be relying on foreign you know, refund fuel. We should have been able to be doing it within ourselves. This is about two years now. Okay. Uh, let's let's leave that by the side. Uh -huh. Hopefully, there will not be scarcity tomorrow. If there is, or uh, the accused at the filling station, we might have to uh, talk about it no tomorrow. Problem. But let's get to talk about what transpired at the Red Chamber. Some people will say that's uh, <laughs> an orchestrated coup. Ali Ndume said he stepped out for prayers before he came back. The session had finished, and the journalists were the ones that were telling me, Oh, God, what happened now? Is said, what really happened? You'll be removed as number three, man. said he was surprised. Uh, you see, Yoruba will tell you that you see a man carrying a load, and the load was like this. Hmm. They now ask him, ah, why is your load not straight? He said, you are not looking at the proper place. Look at the, at the real cause of the load. Look at my leg. He has no need. Hmm. That is the, exactly what is happening now. How did the former Senate leader emerge? Did he go through the gamut of, you know, party having a say in his emergence? And it has to do with all the Senate leadership. So, you know, uh, it's very tempting for one to say maybe uh, there are some missteps here or that, or he must have offended his people, or that there is a kind of reapproachment within APC as a party. I, for one, as a conspiracy theorist, I want to watch events as they unfold before I can say yes, these are the causes why the man had to go. So you just want to do sit down look uh, you want to put on the sit down look attitude? No, right? we are watching events. Okay. All right. You know, to come to a reasonable conclusion as to why but the man what, will what be transpired? removed within twenty minutes after he had gone to mm -hmm. to pray. Okay. Richard, what do you think? Because well, he was even saying, but I've told you guys before, let me resign. But this one you did he wasn't too tidy. Well, uh, it's one of those uh, intrigues that are connected with, you know, the power play at that level. But at the same time, uh, as a close observer of what are the events that have been happening in the Senate, there yeah, might not be unconnected with the way, you know, he singled himself out during the issue of uh, Babacha, the Secretary of the Federal Government, mm. when the Senate may pass a resolution that the Federal Government should, you know, indict him and then be prosecuted only for him as a man, an odd man out. To go and they hold a contrary view. To me, I saw that as a sellout. 
after all, he's not the spokesperson of the uh, Senate. Senate. So he was not saying, a, you know, singing a discontent tune. So which one will not be, you know, it might not be unconnected with that. Mm. But at that level, there might be other things that, you know, meet, that might not meet our ordinary eyes. But to me, as an ordinary observer, I saw that as an act of betrayal. He should have stood by the side of what, you know, the resolution taken by the entire Senate, mm. not going outside, you know, to say what the contrary view. And even the Mago issue. So I think yeah. that's where he got it wrong. So yes, he has to put the, uh, for the political sense he committed. Mm. Yes. Okay. Uh, they said, uh, uh, some people will say uh, th this is an act uh, for, for, for the leadership of the Senate now to mend the conflict, the, this triangular conflict in, the, uh, in between, uh, talking about the leadership of the APC, uh, the, the executive, and the leadership of the Senate. It, there, there's been uh, there's been a conflict in between them. So people are saying, okay, there about now that we have Lawan, the person that was uh, originally original that was meant to be the the Senate president, being the number three man, at least that will pacify uh, some some uh, aggrieved uh, uh, minds. Uh, well, you see, uh, the Senate president, Doctor Bukola Saraki, is my aburo. Mm. We are from the same town. But uh, politically speaking, we've never been on the same page. page. And for the first time that we came on to the same page, I supported how he emerged because politics is all about intrigues. If I outsmart you, so be it. Hmm. It's a game, you know. But where we parted way with him was when the party now gave him a list. Because you cannot run away from the fact that the party is the platform yes. on which all of you emerged. So the party must have a say. Because if there's no synergy between the executive and the legislature, yes. your majority in, gov in, the, uh, in the National Assembly is nonsense. Because you are going to pass laws that will assist the executive, executive in passing in, in executing most of the programs of the party mm. so when that was not forthcoming that was where some of us parted ways with him it wasn't carrying the party along along mm. but if there is now a rethinking and for the benefit of everybody when i say everybody all those who made it possible for the emergence of apc yes. as a as a government in abuja for the sake of all those people, there must be realignment within the party so that the original script of the party, some of us are saying that script is missing. missing. And it's with some people. Do you think this, 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 will, this is a sort of a realignment now? I want to believe so. Believe and it's so. in our interest as a corporate entity in Nigeria, not necessarily APC now. Okay. Because Americans will tell you when the shit hits the fan. It's press on everybody, whether you are APC, you are PDP, you are a whaler, you are a healer. Mm. Everybody is suffering as a result of yes. uh, what yes. you call this recession now. So mm. it's in our interest that the, this government gets it right. Okay. Now, what do you think, Yuchu? Because he said uh, Saraki got it wrong. He said it wasn't uh, really particular about the fact that the emergence of Saraki as a Senate president. But at the end of the day, you should have carried the people along, as in the party itself. But now this is a sort of realignment. Do you agree? Well, uh, to a very large extent, uh, even though I don't personally take a pleasure in discussing much about uh, you know, the political intrigues of the political class, because mm. all those things are aimed at you know, their own selfish interests, I would rather like to you know, be thrown open to debates on where, how to enhance the welfare of the people, the country to move forward, you know, to deliver, you know, democracy, dividends, and then all the promises we are made. Because at the end of the day, you find out that all these things that are going is for their own selfish interests. Mm. Whether they pro, pro or against Saraki, they say, there is no way. My question always, how does it translate to the dividends of democracy to the people? To the people. Mm. So all these things that are saying whether, but at the same time, don't forget that as at the time Saraki was, you know, you know, Sticking to his goal, it was the, due to the political exigency of that time. He wouldn't have done otherwise because the people that threw him out to, to become that senior president as I did were more of the P PDP, you know, uh, attraction. Mm. So there was no way he wouldn't have danced to their tune. 
Because if he had listed, it was still within the apophyl then. Because they forget there was a still a dichotomy within the AP, APC family. All there was needed then was a faction of APC then to lay, you know, uh, realign with you know the group of PDP then to yes. host him. Yes. So I think what he did really did there was as a matter of political expediency at that time. But I think uh, the way they are going, so it was, was necessary, necessary at that time. Then, yes, but we we yes. admit that uh, not carrying the the party along is another war. That is why I use the word political expediency. That's what he needed to do at that time. Because if he had done contrary, because as at that time APC was highly totally factionalized. So all that was needed there was well, a faction of the PDP to rea you know align with mm. the faction of the APC. And then any of the group who have, you know, had the, the, the way then the collab, collab, yes. <laughs> so I think that was the calculation <laughs> they had that helped him. And I think with the way things are going, they're gradually stabilizing. But as I said, all oh, I am not particularly interested in all those intrigues. All we need is for how on them to come and sit down. They have just come back from recess, deliberate on the 2017 budget. Budget. See how Nigerians they will alleviate the, the PIB suffering. Is there also. PIB bill is mm. there. Mm. All we are concerned as you know, pro -demo development, uh, you know, uh, opinion experts, that how do we Does move this forward, develop this nation? Yes, because we'll, we have a lot. We ask that question yes. after this short break. How does it translate That's into right. better, governance better governance for the people? Yes, sir. Okay, stay with us, please. Okay, welcome back. And uh, we're looking at the change of leadership at the Nigerian Senate. And the question the uh, barrister Ono asked the last time before we went to break, how does this translate yes. into good governance yeah, for the people? And the question, we'll, we'll deal with that question later. But let's talk about this process of removing principal officers. Unlike, the, unlike governors and presidents, which you need to notify them that you're not uh, with us one way or the other. We need to impeach or we need to be serve onto them. But for principal officers, according to the uh, Senate President, Order 32, Section 6, uh -huh. on how, how principal officers should be removed, he said they will be removed by majority. And also, they should or they might not be consulted. Yes. So they just remove you. They didn't do. So that's what happened to Ali Ndume. He went for a break. He don't have to tell you that when you come back, yeah, you, we're, we're going to remove you or when you are praying. So that's what he was saying also about Ekwere Madu. Ekwere Madu might be removed also, like the way he was removed. Uh, do you align with what he said? Is it from what is happening now, anybody, underline it, <laughs> anybody can be removed. Even the Senate president? Yes. <laughs> the, the president has been set. And that is why we were hammering on the importance of the party in what goes on in the National Assembly. Those who, who will be finicky, they will tell you uh, it's not theoretically, it's, it's not. But there is no way I will put you in a place. You will not tell me I don't have a say in what you are doing. Mm. Because APC as a party gave Nigerians promises. We'll give you uh, unemployed, uh, poverty stricken Nigerian 5,000 naira a month. Are they executing it or not? And they said they will now. And they, they can only execute it when the National Assembly is in sync with that thought. They will now make laws to reflect that, uh, that proposition. Mm. And the executive will now, will now find ways, ways and means, money to back it up. Yes. I mean, partially they are doing uh, pilot programs in some states now which is, you know, encouraging to some of us. That, but at the end of the day, if it can go all over Nigeria, because me, I prefer somebody doing something, you know, with flaw, than somebody that won't do anything at all. I promise you 5,000 Naira, and I'm executing it bit by bit. That shows I have good intention. If extenuating circumstances allows me to get my way, so the same thing happens. The party must have a say. The party must have a but say. But you see, the configuration in the National Assembly now is we have NPDP. 
But but APC has still got the majority. I say even within the I'm now doing macro analysis within the APC itself, NPDP, they are the people that join APC from P PDP. Mm, like uh, like the Senate president, you know, they have their own you know uh, agenda too. But about now, right about now, let me let me take you to Barrister because it was because I mentioned majority mm. can remove anybody. And I was saying that the APC has got the majority still. I said, I know. Uh, let's get to look at history. Mm. The NPDP, the major, that one still plays uh, mm. uh, an rule. important role there. And uh, getting to look at it, because the way it's looking now, it seems the the NPDP or whatever he calls it now, everybody's coming together on the same page now talking about the APC. So I think that, won't, that shouldn't be a factor again. Well, uh, going by the list of people, the signatory that endorsed that is removal, you see that it is so it covers almost all the yeah, APT chief tens there. Yes. Because I saw virtually, as it was shown on the screen, I saw virtually all the big names in APC. Which, which what that means that uh, I think they are going to be this uh, kind of cohesion coming into play now. And uh, you must forget that in as much as there's 2019 so around the corner, there's a lot of uh, lot of political <laughs> permutation. <laughs> Already, Reali of course, of course, <laughs> it's bound to take place. So we cannot rule such things out. But all said and done, mm. what we stand for is that rules and procedure for removal of principal officers, as it were stated, must be followed. And there is a distinction between the rules of the House and Senate yes. and between the yes. constitutional, constitutional provision of removing you know, chief executive like governors and president, and president. are different. Mm. So we are, they are laid down condition precedent that you must comply with on the, like on the issue of impeachment. Yes. So you could see that the way he was just removed on that, he could not extend that kind of thing to yeah. removal of uh, maybe a governor, yeah, even yeah. the Senate president. But can, you, can they extend it according to a delegation of Ali and Dume, can they extend it to the deputy uh, Senate president? Well, being from the minority, as you have said, and these people are in the majority, it's possible. They could use, they could muster their numerical strength. Anything can happen. Anything can happen. It's possible. Uh, and, and, and the permutation it's says, possible. Uh, some people are saying, like uh, Mark Harvey, uh, yeah. I made Mark Harvey, I was listening to a piece saying that uh, it's not too late for a query, madam. You know what you just do? Just the come to APC and that all will be well. Every, everything yeah. will be well. Is that, that's a good one, right? Uh, it's a good one. From because it was a Senate president, I mean, Deputy Senate President at the sixth Senate, mm. the seventh, and now you have the eighth mm. Senate. So it's not uh, a bad one. He's a perennial Deputy Senate <laughs> President. <laughs> but you see, what, what brought about a query, Madhu, like he said earlier on, had to do with permutation of, you know, some people were busy, APC senators, they were busy ostensibly to hold a meeting somewhere. Mm. and. Uh, they, action was taking place at the in floor. the Senate. So mm. what you need to do is add Gary and Sugar together for you to emerge as a Senate president. That was exactly what happened. Mm. Saraki was in PDP, and those who supported him are PDP. So it's just a name uh, change of, you know. <laughs> the ID binding the primary binding factor is still there. And that is why a Kori Madu too could be made Senate uh, deputy. vice or deputy mm. Senate president, mm. but politics too is about interest, and everything in politics, the only thing that is constant is interest. All other ones are dynamic. But presently, don't you think the interest now is a common interest of APC? Everybody is now saying, okay, let us put our heads together. You remember what you said? When you get to look at the list of people yes. that removed Ali in Dume, yes. everybody were on the same page. Mm. Can't they just be on the same page because of the interest now? Maybe they've now, everybody now has, okay, maybe they've resigned to fate. Saraki must stay there. And Saraki now says, okay, let me give you guys space also. We put something together. What that, do you think? That's what politicking is all about. Compromise. You don't stay fixed here. You stay fixed here. You live here. You two you live here. We meet here. That is what we call compromise. If you can do that, everything will run smoothly. Do you think everybody now, like, uh, let's if I say everybody, the, this, uh, the leadership of the uh, party, party the leadership the, of the Senate, and even the executive. Do you think everybody's happy now about... Uh, well, uh, you know, I don't <laughs> need to discuss that one on air. But I think there is a little bit of 
like you said, you put it, exigency. Mm. Gear towards permutation for 2019. 19. Mm -hmm. People joining APC now, where are they from? <laughs> when they get into APC, which of the disparate groupings are they going to be? Because me, I don't fool myself. I know we have very clear cut divisions within mm. the party based on ideological persuasions. Like uh, Jim Wobodo, it was about three days ago that it was one year that he joined the PDP. Is, is he going to be uh, NPDP or uh, CNC, CNC APC or whatever? Which are the CNC, CNC? CNC produced the president now. CPC. Okay, CPC, CPC, rather. Okay, okay, mm. CPC. That is why we say APC is a coat of many colors, like Dolly Parton will put mm. it in our song. Mm -hmm. Several, you know, all geared towards removing those carpet baggers, which they succeeded in doing. But what are they doing with power now that has been given to them two years on? Mm. That I, is the that's a, that's, naira question. That's a big question. But let's, let me ask you a question. As a lawyer, would, what do you think, would this affect the the case of the Senate president now at the CCT? Because okay. now if Saraki is aligning with the federal government and is aligning good, He's been a good boy now. Boy. Do you think uh, things will change? Well, uh, from what I heard yesterday or, re or read, I mm. gather that the federal government has, uh, you know, presented a very strong witnesses that will testify against him, which is a pointer to the fact that they are still bent on going on with that case. And uh, don't forget, Mr. President, uh, the way he has presented himself to the international community, they are watching him. A different fora, he has gone to give the, uh, that impression that is uh, this government is a yielding one, it's an unbending government that will stick to his gun in the fight against corruption. So, being that uh, he's conscious of that, I don't foresee him compromising in the bending the rule because he knows that he will have a, a, a bounce back on, on mm. his reputation. Mm. He has gone out to the Internet, United Nations, he has gone to the EU, he has gone to a different fora, and he has presented himself, and that's the way they are looking at him now, the international community. And uh, this case is a very good uh, classical case. They are watching. They are watching and seeing how federal government will react. So I don't see, uh, how, is, uh, how are they going to compromise? Is it by entering knowledge process where that uh, suddenly the case will be discontinued on what ground? So I mean, it's something that will be very positive. So we are watching. But from the language of Mr. President, I don't see that happening. Okay, I don't see that you record. Yes. Uh, Madam Judge, I'll put the same question to you, okay. but I need to go on the show back when I come back. No problem. Uh, it will be your turn. Don't go anywhere, please. Welcome back. I say I'm Ono and Malam Ahmed Jaji here. We're still looking at the change of leadership at the Senate. But you can call in now if, if you see the line, I mean, numbers on your screen. So you just call in and uh, uh, join the conversation. And the same question I asked uh, Barrister the last time is what is happening now at the Senate, uh, this uh, realignment? Will it change uh, the case uh, of the Senate president at the CCT since he's now a good boy, in quote? Uh, you see, as far as I see it, uh, it's a matter of carrot and stick. <laughs> Mr. Senate President, if you play the ball according to our dictate and wishes, you eat carrots. If you don't play it, we whip you. <laughs> that is exactly because when the court, a, a case that is supposed to be given accelerated hearing, maybe within one month you must have, you know, disposed of it. We now read on the pages of newspaper, I think yesterday or the day before yesterday, that uh, it will be sc the hearings will now be staggered. One would have loved a situation where the Senate president was going to the court and his uh, bodyguards, the, the rest college, of the Senate, the Senate, they will follow him there. The drama should be for a very short period, but it has now been extended. So that means, Mr. Senate president, behave yourself. If you behave, It'll be okay. And that is why they now reinforce the 
you know, caliber and quality of Witness. the witnesses. When they will bring incontrovertible, you know, instances yes. of malfeasance. Yes. So it's, it's a warning signal to it's me. It's a warning signal. I think. behave yourself or okay. otherwise you see us. All right. So this case might outlive the tenure of this present government. Sure. Sam Ali, good morning. Um, good morning. Mr. Judge, good morning. Good morning, sir. Yes, I, I want to know what is this allegation against uh, Ali Udoma? I thought all along he was a good chance with his colleagues. And again, why is he coming over now and telling us uh, the next person to go is uh, a, a good man? <laughs> what? Uh, if I will answer, I don't think yes. I'm not a well, member I, of the I, National I, Executive I, Committee. I, I, I'm worried what is happening in the Nigerian lawmaking arm of government. I've been following the American system right from the era of President David S. Yes. I've never heard of any day when uh, uh, the Senate leadership or the House of Representatives is removed. But here in Nigeria, is the end of the day. What is the problem? But I think Why are our, our, our politicians? But, but, but Sam Ali, I think they're following, they're following the laws, the okay, laws, the, the, the rules of the Senate. If you see what I mean. Okay, can you take it from there because we wanted to reply. Uh, what, what, what I will just, as a member, I'm not a member of the National Assembly, nor anybody in the APC hierarchy or whatever. So I wouldn't know the thinking, but I can surmise, I can guess. The, the rule does not say you must give a reason. Oh. Mm. That's it. This is primus inter pares, first among equal. equal. Everybody going to the National Assembly, before you are sworn in, you are all the same. Yes. It is now your duty to now say, yes, all of us will have agreed to make DAPO, mm. our Senate president. So he's first among equal. And if they wish? If they wish, they might remove, they might remove him. Mm. They don't have to give him any, any reason. reason. But ideally, in any, you know, enlightened uh, space, you should have been told that ah, this is what you have done, this and this is, and yes. that's why we are removing so you. Like, okay. are, so that's why I said I alluded to precedence. Okay. This is now a precedent. Anybody can be removed at any at time. At any time. And Romadu, it wasn't Malam Jaji said that told him that you will be the next man. <laughs> uh, the man that was removed told him that you will be the next man okay. uh, on the line. All right, then, Nikkei, good morning from Ogba. Oh, thank you. Good morning. All I want to say about uh, the remover of the Duma. Yes. I think Senate President should be removed because he did not come to that place in the right way. I want to tell you is this one. There is it's all this time and all the PDP that are joined. They have their own they have they have their own agenda. And the agenda is that if they should go in the ticket of PPP, they will never win. Hmm. And that is why they are going inside uh, uh, APC to, to bring out their own agenda and to put this government that I'm going to not allow it. Okay. Let Saraki uh, say the music and let the command say the music. Whether he has the. Because what I'm trying to tell you is he's learning the Sijamba. I'm sorry about it. He's learning the Sijamba. He's learning the Sijamba. He's learning the Sijamba. Okay. He's learning the Sijamba. So let the news take its place on all other things. I'm from Elorio. Yeah, right. Then. Thank you so much. Uh, <laughs> you know what she said there, that the Senate no. president should be removed. But who's going to remove the Senate president? Well, they are laid down procedures. If we are found to have uh, violated, you know, the oath of office has taken or whatever, they are laid down procedures. They go. But I have, so like I said earlier on, we should distinguish it from, you know, the way and manner of removal of principal officers. These mm. people are principal officers of the House. Yes. Which more or less they always are the whims and caprices of the ruling party mm -hmm. in most cases, ruling party that I and they control. represent the people and they, and they at, represent the, at the, the highest hierarchy. Yeah. So I don't think it's something that should cause more shadow because there is no the mood that remover is a very common phenomenon just to remove and then somebody was citing a case of America. You don't uh, also yeah, lose uh, sight of the fact of a peculiarity. Yeah, politics is, local. Local. Yes. Politics local. is local. local. Here we play local and then over there it's not and, done and that they, and, and they have so a standing order. They, they have, have rules. rules. Yes. So their own rule might not be the same with ours. Our rule here. Yes. Hassan uh, from Lucky. Good morning, sir. Good morning. Good morning, sir. Good morning, uh, Madam Jaggi and the other gentleman. Good morning, sir. You see, this issue you are seeing 
is a problem created by President of the Senate, Mukola Saraki. In his quest to become the Senate President of Nigeria by hook or crook, people um, enjoying the, the support of the, of the devil in achieving their political ambition. And it is a known fact that a devil will never give you anything free. Mm. What you are seeing at play is a covenant that Saraki went, or the covenant he entered with the PDP to do their own scripts, to destroy this government, not to be able to implement the manifestos of a great party, APC. But now, chicken is coming back home to roast. Why am, why am I saying this? It's because now we have only two years for us to go. And the only platform that is realizable to achieve their political ambition is APC. And it is an indisputable fact that our president, the uncorruptible president of Nigeria, General Mahmoud Buhari, mm. is out for good. He wanted to implement the manifesto of the party, but Saraki and Co are blocking him. Okay. But uh, now, Saraki okay. okay. is not coming back to dance to the tune of the party that was done to him right from the inception when he became the president. All right, and I have to let you go, uh, uh, Mr. San. I thank you very much. And I said the platform, uh, since we have, uh, we, we're entering the politics uh, period now, the platform uh, that everybody can fly on now is the APC. Do you know there's going to be a mega party, according to information? There should be a mega party soon. Do you think that's a, the new umbrella everybody will be hiding under? If you get yeah, what I'm asking I mean. him. <laughs> I'm asking you. I'm now. a politician. Uh, yeah, as a politician, I'm asking you. <laughs> <laughs> you see, uh, Yoruba will tell you, be a bag, be a war. Mm. Mm. If our staying together, does not work. It's not, you know, what? realistic. I mean, you reserve the right to look elsewhere. I reserve the right to look elsewhere. Because politics is all about interest. But okay. my fear now is, those of us that campaign seriously for the emergence of this government, the government, can we still go back to our people and say, no, leave him alone, go and look elsewhere? Do you, do you still have the, the clout now, the mouth, or the... the Everything will point? depend on the performance of this government between now and 2019. And that is why we are telling the president to go and look for the original APC script. Is it lost? The change, yes. It's it, lost. It's not with him. It's lost. <laughs> okay. Metaphorically hey. speaking. Okay. okay. Yakub, good morning. Yeah, the good morning. 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 Yeah, the present uh, Senate president cannot be, be, be Senate president. There is no support of this uh, gentleman that just removed. Because if you could remember that day, what it like. He was the one supported this guy, and that pretend as if he wants to be a Senate president also, which he, why he knew that he cannot. And then he pretend as if he wants to be a Senate yes. president for him to pave way for him to become a leader of this name, which yes. he finally become. But that's what, let me tell you. You see, the yeah, uh, senior president just sacrificed the guy. He sacrificed the guy because of what he has in the court. Do you know the case of this uh, senior president supposed to speak? Now, the, the, the president reacts to somebody that is just following the law. When they say, don't begin with me. You remember the pastor, they going to resign because of somebody following the law. Yes. And then they are telling us, change the game with me. And then somebody follow the law, and then implement the law, and then they sacrifice the guy because he followed the law. That's why we are the Nigerian citizens should not be docile. We should get that our kids supposed to go through, but he sacrificed this guy. And then I believe, before this time up, if the guy does not go, he will finish this time and then that's if I discuss with the gun, go front and back, and then this this tenor will finish and then our kids will be gone, the gun just like that, without punish. Uh, in fact, I, I really, I really, I really care for this country. Okay, God bless you. All right, then, thank you so much, Jacob. You know the one that caught me laughing was yeah. he kept on uh, repeating he sacrificed the guy, he sacrificed mm. the guy. Is the, do you think Ali Dume is a sacrificial lamb? Is well, uh, whatever that language may mean, <laughs> I, I don't think so. All I know is that it's part of uh, 
political intrigues yes. that the characteristics of uh, Nigerian politicians. So I don't understand it's, what I, th I think it's mm. about win some, lose some. Lose some. Mm. That's the way I see it. This way of uh, sacrifice, I don't know the context it means by that. All I know is that the man is just trying to reintegrate himself back to his food. The way I'm seeing things now, because of uh, the 2019 that is ahead, everybody is projecting towards that period. All, that's all I know. Okay. Sure. And talking about 2019, yeah. I'm going back to that question you asked me, and yeah. I'll go to you now, Malam Jaji. What does the people now have to gain from all this? What is happening? Even if you change the leadership of the Senate, you change even all the senators in the Senate, how does the people benefit from all these intrigues? That's it. Uh, the people cannot benefit. Can I quickly take Olawale and I will take do. the question to you. Olawale, good morning. Hello, good morning, Dapo. Morning. Long time. Yeah, long time. Happy New Year there. Oh, good morning, oh, Malam Jaji. Good morning, sir. And my brother. Good morning. Are, yes. Uh, yeah, I think what is happening in the APC now, as said by Malam Jaji, is that I think they have come to the reality that they may not be able to remove Taraki easily. Okay? And uh, Taraki has been saying he has been going to the Asso Rock to hold private meeting with uh, the, the president. president. Either because of the beast or something of that sort. But that is that's just a small screen. Mm -hmm. What I want to what is really happening is that they have accepted Taraki as the as the Senate president. That is APC. Okay, and they are now trying to work with him on the condition that he plays the game. Okay. So there's a condition. Wants. Okay. Okay. But the danger in this particular arrangement is that you don't play with a snake. Okay. Hmm. Because the snake can eventually bite you. Okay. <laughs> Tell the exactly snake. Yeah. What is going to <laughs> happen? And okay. uh, I, I, I realized that because the 2019 is fast approaching, okay, so the, the president himself must take very, very, very good care. Because he, what caused all these problems is his statement. Yes. I can work with anybody. Yeah, I belong to everybody. Yes, everybody. That is what is causing this problem. All right, and thank you so much, Olawale, for your contribution. I'm Alam Jaja. I'll come back from this break and I'll put that question to you because we need to go on a short break. Yes, I will come back. The discussion continues. Stay with us, please. So welcome back. Uh, on the line I have from Egbeda. Good morning, Zach. Good morning. Hello, good morning. Good morning, Zach. You're welcome uh, to the show. Your contribution, please. Yes, I, I would like to contribute. Uh, I think the president, Mohamed Bari, is the cause of all this. Why? Because uh, initially he said he's not going to intervene or interfere in the... In the, in the Hello? Yes, interfere with what is going on at the legislative. Um, uh, what, what were you saying? Oh, I think we lost that call. Everybody's now putting the blame on the doll's step of the president. I belong to nobody. I belong to everybody. Is that the major problem, really? And uh, the uh, question I asked no, you. No, you see, you asked the question that with all this Pula Balu yes. on the national stage, are the masses, what will be the gain of the masses? Yes. Nothing will be the gain of the masses. You see, I'm a student of uh, Taco Passin. Taco Passing is, a, is an American sociologist. And he puts everything in the society in pigeonholes. Hmm. And he now said the political class, the political process, is the superstructure of any polity. So if you get your political process right, everything will work out right. fine. It will permit the whole uh, gamut of the society. Nigeria, we are not getting it right. Our political process is warped. The Senate, the legislative arm of the government is in disarray. If they were to be serious people, the moment the president presented the budget, the budget. Them, they should have sat down and, you know, 
do something about it so that as we reach 1st of January, the government will hit the ground running. Because uh, So that is one of the losses of the masses. I have a caller because uh, I remember we talked about the Lagos budget. The Commissioner of Finance was here and even the lawmaker was here. They said throughout Christmas, they were working on the budget so to deliver that is serious a gift People for negotiations. People know what to do with government. So why is it missing at the federal? Can I quickly take a caller? Good morning. Hello, Mr. Dapo. Good morning, Victor. Uh, good morning. Good morning, sir. I'm the only listener to your program. I like you. I just want to say very thank to you. You, you do a very, very nice much. program there. Thank you very much. That's thank all you I have you. for you. Thank That's you very all. much. Thank you so yes. much, uh, Victor. Really appreciate it. Uh, let me take it to you because uh, that, that, that instance I painted now, uh, and he said is that's a right-thinking government uh, putting people there. You don't go for Christmas. You work on this budget because this budget is what can take us out of... Even in Lagos recession. is not even in recession. recession. They're working like they're in recession already. Yes. Because we have a problem. And the executive arm of a government and the legislative arm of a government, are, are they pretending that they don't know we have a problem? and which they need to attend to on time because what is happening now according to Malanjaji is none of our problem is none of our concern so why are they not attending to us you see um i think the big lesson that this government should take note or learn is that uh, the wave of changes that's blowing across the continent is something that if not checked could still repeat itself again look at what happened in ghana election that's happened in Gambia. Mm. So it's high time any government, any responsible government, should oh. begin to take its citizens very seriously and begin to take the welfare of the people as a matter of seriousness and urgency. Mm. Now, to be practical, schools just resume now. Yes. You and I know what parents are passing, mm -hmm. through, passing through just to meet up with the requirements, obligations, their children's obligations in school. Now, is it in the economic frontier? We all know what we are passing through. The prices of goods and services are high, you know, Triple A every day they, without stopped. anything happening. Though the though the though the, 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 the green chamber or was it the red chamber yes. said to said okay, no to that law of importation, ban on importation. Mm. At least they they passing some uh, uh, can can I quickly take this caller uh, and I'll come back to you. Is that George? Morning. Yes. Morning, yes, George. Absolutely. Sorry, sorry Morning. for holding too long. Yeah, thank you. Um uh, I mean um Yapo. Yes. I would rather uh, address Mr. Charge this morning. Okay. Please, Mr. Judge, common people like us do not have access to the president, but maybe through your party, you might be able to reach out to him with an idea. Tell him that fraternizing with Sakari, with uh, Saraki is like a dinner with the devil. He will not but Saraki is only trying to be smart. Instead of operating with Saraki, he should please draw Tinubu close. <laughs> Telling that this is what some of us are saying. That he should do what? He should draw Tinubu close to himself. The national oh. leader of the party. Okay. Yes. All right. He, he, Saraki is only trying to cause distraction for him in order to hit him below the bed later. Okay. All right. Then. Thank you, George. Thank you. And let uh, Malam take it from there. It, it, it has a very, very, very tricky question. <laughs> uh, I'm in APC. I support Buhari because of Tinubu. But what role is Tinubu playing in the present government, in spite of deniers? But we can all see that is why the allusion I made that the original script of APC mandate is missing. The, God, the president is using a fake one. If somebody as big as so where's the Tinubu, original mandate? It's with the original people that started APC. Bari was part of the game, but some people in Aso Rock now. That is what uh, this man, uh, Dr. Ruben Abati, hmm. alluded to. That's demons. Metaphorically speaking, the government has been hijacked. I'm saying it publicly now. And I shall the president. In, hmm. that, was, that was what the woman saw, and she, she cried out. Is the president in charge? If the president is in charge, that the, the Buari, me, I knew will not tolerate all these kind of shenanigans that are taking place in the in the government you know so maybe age has uh, something to do about it but it, it is not enough we've been given a mandate 
let us execute all those manifesto, all those things. We don't have to execute everything. Okay. But they, they should be seen to be executing at least 50% of it. Okay. Nigeria I'll, will I'll, get I'll, I'll put that same question to you, but can I quickly take John? Uh, our last caller, John. Good morning. Hello. Uh, good morning. Morning. Uh, this is John from uh, Abuja. Okay, good morning, John. Uh, okay. We are with your guest there discussing a very important matter. Okay. And uh, in respect of uh, the nation at large, I think uh, there is it's a very big issue because the people in charge, <laughs> I, I, am not, I don't have apology for it. They don't have the, the interest of the market at all. That is why I see all this, the talks in the National Assembly. Okay. All right, and John, uh, you've made your point, really, because we have uh, a very, very little time to go, and I need to give this uh, gentleman time to round up. Uh, what do you think about what uh, George said the last time? Like and what he said also, the manuscript well, is the, missing. You know, they came in. This government is beginning to veer up from the, you know, the objective for which, you know, on the premise of which it was voted into power. There are a lot of challenges on ground now that they need to uh, really address. All these uh, distractions will not help because 2019 is around the corner and the people's uh, judgment on them, whether to confer further legitimacy on it or not, depends on the progress they have made. So with the way things are going right now, I don't think we are getting it right. It's high time the government should sit down, see how to implement the 2017 budget to alleviate the sufferings of the people. There's a lot to be done okay. in terms of infrastructure, in terms of economy, in terms of uh, look at the kind of unemployment. Mm. Look at all if we have, uh, there was enough time. We have taken it, you know, uh, sectorially and see that nothing is working in any sector of the economy. Mm. Is it in the aviation? Is it in the telecommunication industry? Is it in the labor industry? There's so much unemployment. Mm. And uh, so they must come up with policies yes. that will enhance, you know, the, the living quality. quality Right, judge, your conclusion, right please. We need to go now. My conclusion is that as, as a stakeholder, I'm claiming it, I'm saying it unabashedly. No apology to anybody. I contributed to Buhari's uh, campaign. Hmm. And it's embarrassing to me now, as a person, that the government we expected to hit the ground running. Okay, there were some hiccups from the beginning, and we explained it away that uh, be, be when you are building a house, is different from when you are destroying a house. That was the original <laughs> argument. Uh, argument. Yes. <coughs> Yoruba will tell you, you have a tenure of four years, two years had gone by, nothing is happening, and you expect us to shut up. I'm not against the president, too. Okay. And I'm still a committed member of the APC. APC. That does not stop us for saying your from mind. critiquing, All criticizing right. the right, way the government is being run. Okay. So, Malam Jaji. Malam Moyoshore Jaji. Uh, chieftain of the APC. Uh, thank you very much and also a political affairs analyst. Uchanu, a friend of the house, a lawyer and a political uh, public affairs thank analyst. Thank you very much. Dr. Thank you Dr. Uche Dr. also. Thank you. And for those I've called, really appreciate you. Uh, tomorrow is another day. Join us tomorrow. My name is Dapo. Bye for now and God bless Nigeria.